And now, Escaping the Drift, the show designed to get you from where you are to where you want to be. I'm John Gafford, and I have a knack for getting extraordinary achievers to drop their secrets to help you on a path to greatness. So stop drifting along, escape the drift, and it's time to start right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the rebrand of my podcast, formerly known as The Power Move. This podcast is going to be called Escaping the Drift. So I wanted to welcome all of you guys that have spent time with us over the last two years here and kind of walk you through what you can expect and talk to you about why we did this and what the point was. So first of all, I want to address um, why we moved on from the podcast that we were doing before with the Power Move, which was very pretty simple. Number one, yes, I'm still great friends with the guys. Everything's cool. But with three of us here hosting this each and every week as we tried to do, scheduling just became very, very difficult uh, to make sure that we could get this content out consistently uh, to you guys as much as we wanted. So it just became really evident that it was very difficult to continue doing this with all three of us. Plus, what I noticed as I went along that the episodes that seemed to get the highest ratings or the ones that you guys seem to listen to the longest or like the most are when we had great, great guests in. Now, unfortunately, when you're dealing with in studio, like we were with three people, not everybody can make their way into the studio. So by switching over to this, which is kind of a one man format, it allows me to bring world-class guests because I know a bunch of great people that just unfortunately don't live here, but it allows me to bring them into the studio virtually where I can get the great information they have in their heads out to you guys. Now, if you enjoyed our previous podcast, if you loved it, don't worry about it. All of those episodes are going to be archived and they'll be right here within this one. You'll just see the rebrand kind of over the top of it, but you can always go back and listen to all those great Power Move episodes, uh, so the Zanier ones, the great guests we had there. All of those episodes will be intact right here below this. But I want to address now why I chose the name Escaping the Drift. Why did we choose this? Well, a couple of things. Now, number one, I've been working very, very hard and very diligently on a book which is coming out in the not too distant future. And the title of that book, as you guessed it, is Escaping the Drift. And one of the things we always talk about here as part of success is making sure you're on brand with everything you do. So I wanted to rebrand the podcast to create the Escaping the Drift community. Now, what does that even mean, Escaping the Drift? Well, I'm going to tell a story that's actually in the book, but I wanted you to get it because it was a very profound moment for me. When I was on The Apprentice a really long time ago, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the days we were working um, or getting ready for a shot, it was one of those days we could just kind of tell that everything was going wrong with production. And Mark Burnett, who was the executive producer, was kind of run around a little bit like a chicken with his head cut off. And um, Kristen Kirchner, who was another contestant on The Apprentice with me, yelled at him across the way. She said, hey, Mark, you're treading water today, aren't you, buddy? And that dude stopped, and in that one second, he looked at her and shot her a look, and he said, I never tread water. I swim. And in that moment, I kind of realized something, because a lot of you guys don't know this, but I didn't achieve any real level of success. I had some cool jobs, but no real level of financial success or growth until my early 30s. And it was kind of kicked off around the time that I was on The Apprentice. But when he said that, I swim, I realized man, I've been spending so much of my life drifting through life, just drifting along with the currents of life, whichever way the wind, where the winds will carry me without swimming against the current, without making the effort to get that done. So the book and this podcast and everything we do is honestly kind of a user's, a user's manual to my 22, 23 year old self. It's information that I wish I would have had so I could have escaped the drift, escaped the clutches of drifting along with life and started swimming faster against the current. So what you can expect as we go along, as I promise you, these will be done with much more frequency. Um, it's easier for me to bring high powered guests in to make sure you guys are getting the information that you need to get to where you want to go. I am super excited about the change. I hope you guys are as well. You can check out uh, the new website, escapingthedrift.com. If you're interested in being a guest on the show, feel free to uh, fill out the, the form there. And if it's something that might be a good fit for us, we will get back to you. So I appreciate all you guys listening. I appreciate all you guys hanging with us as we make this transition to the new podcast, Escaping the Drift. We'll see you then.
What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for another episode of Escaping the Drift. Hope you got a bunch out of it, or at least as much as I did out of it. Anyway, if you want to learn more about the show, you can always go over to escapingthedrift.com. You can join our mailing list. But do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, throw up that five-star review. Give us a share. Do something, man. We're here for you. Hopefully, you'll be here for us. But anyway, in the meantime, we will see you at the next episode.